Well, the last 24 hours has been a little bit stressful. Um, I'm just going down to see Rob in the field because I'm going to give him some sandwiches and some juice. Um, and basically we're combining the rapeport earlier than we thought we were going to because um, the we had a major storm last night. to have knocked all of the rapeseed out of the plants. So this crop behind me appears more white because of the seed pods being knocked out of the rape and um, obviously the, seed, the seeds uh, are black and it sort of bleaches the crop so Rob's been saying for a while now like oh the rape's starting to look really dark and it's looking like it's going to be ready to combine soon. And then after the storm, it's gone white like this. So that's why we were worried. Which has been megaly, megaly, majorly <laughs> stressful for everybody. Um, mm -hmm. Rob and his dad have been very upset and frustrated about it because basically all the seed has just fallen out of the seed pods onto the floor. And there's just nothing you can do about it to salvage the seed. It's just laying there on the floor. Um, and you can't harvest it on the floor because obviously all this machinery is designed to um, combine uh, the the seeds off the plant. So um, that's been stressful. Also, um, the storm that we had um, damaged a lot of the flowers that I needed to pick for a wedding this weekend. Luckily, um, I've been picking today. I've, I've picked a little bit earlier than I normally would because. Um, it's also been quite windy today so I didn't want the flowers to have any more damage on them than they already did so um, I've decided to um, pick them early and and hopefully everything's looking okay now anyway so today I've just been sorting out those flowers um, and putting them uh, into uh, into order just for the bride for this weekend so um, I think Rob's maybe done a little bit of filming, but I'm not sure how much. Uh, so we're going to go and see him now and see what he's got to say. So I'm doing a job today that I never expected to be doing just yet, but we're uh, we're among the rape combining. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday we were hit with uh, one of the biggest storms, hailstorms I've ever seen in my oh well, 20, 30 years of uh, well, 25 years of farming, and it ran right through our rape crops. It's a really, really vulnerable stage at the moment because it's been sprayed nearly 10 well 10 days. So as you can see, it's. Uh, it's fairly dry and obviously these hailstones were like the size of a, a one pence piece, a round one pence piece. So anyway, we've lost quite a lot of the crop, done quite a lot of damage so today we've decided to get the combine out and just try sort of damage limitation and get what we can. I think we've lost a third of the crop uh, which is quite a substantial amount. Um, but we've got some crops, so it's not it's not not the end of the world. But still a fairly decent crop. It's probably the best. I don't think you've probably had me go on about before. I mean, Sarah being leading uh, straw, it's probably the best rape crop we've had since we've been at this farm. So in the last 20 years. Anyway, like I say, we're among it now. We're getting some rape out of it, which is good. But it's going to be a late one, we've got 83 acres to do, I think we've already done, uh, I've done 6 hectares up to now, so that's about 15 acres, yeah about 15 acres done up to now, and another 70 to do right through the night hopefully, so hopefully get no complications and uh, 
Yeah, we'll get it all in because it looks like tomorrow. About four o'clock in the morning, we've got another one of these storms coming through as well, so it's just, I'd rather it in the shed than in the field getting hammered by the rain. back now and sort out some more flowers and I will chat to you about uh, the storm that we had yesterday and how it affected the flowers. So last night I was um, in the teepee fitting the floor in there and um, we just had this almighty storm uh, which I haven't really experienced anything like that in quite a long time and the thunder was just continuous and then the rain started pouring down really heavily and then we got hailstones and I was like wow I've never seen anything like this before and um, the horses all the animals were going crazy and uh, there was just water uh, rain and hail everywhere um, and Rob was really panicking about the rape obviously and I was panicking about my flowers because I've got a wedding this weekend um, so then after after the storm I came to have a look and I was thinking things don't look too bad um, I have I did a, a stem count for flowers yesterday morning just because I wanted to make sure I had enough um, and I was re feeling really confident and then I came out again and the storm had destroyed a lot of the sunflowers and a lot of the mallow the lavatera um, it had keeled over the bee balm um, and just destroyed quite a few things so I'll show you now These, this um, damage here to this petal is where the hailstones have gone through the petal um, so it's literally shredded the petal uh, sorry the leaves on these plants and um, there's quite a lot of sunflowers that were usable yesterday when I looked um, but the storm has knocked a load of the petals out. So if you look at that one there, that might have been all right to pick uh, yesterday, but the storm has knocked a few of the petals out, which is a shame. But the worst part really is the mallow because, that, because the mallow is such a good filler. If you watch my video from the other week about um, filler flowers, uh, mallow was up there with my um, top 10 favorites and it has such delicate petals as you can see down here I tried to pick some of it this morning and there was just nothing really salvageable from it because um, the, the, all the petals are bruised or broken and it's not looking very good but then things like cosmos survived and you're like how does cosmos survive and um, the mallow just looks so bad but hopefully I don't know what's going to happen with the mallow, whether I have to pull it out or whether it'll recover, who knows. Um, but the the dill has stood up against the storm quite well. 
there's probably there's a couple of plants that have keeled over in the middle there there's um, some dahlias around the front that have uh, lost the battle with the storm they've gone over and that's my fault for not putting any um, protection any uh, any mesh up to support it a few of the this auric um, a few of the auric plants have um, necked over um, and snapped off so I'm not sure what that means it might it might make them branch out a little more from the box I haven't actually pinched this auric um, so we'll see what happens with that but other than that things have been okay and I've managed to cut for the wedding that I've got this weekend so um, although it was a shame that I couldn't pick some of my nicer flowers like the sunflowers etc um, at least we managed to pick everything that we needed so that's good so yeah it's just crazy how 10 minutes worth of storm can disrupt a year's worth of um, efforts in, in uh, farming efforts and that's just the nature of farming um, and I don't know if anybody in the UK has been watching uh, Clarkson's farm on Amazon we've been watching it and we love watching it um, and he seems to really well he, he seems to represent really well the struggles that farmers go through so I just thought I would share with you um, one of our experiences so yeah thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you again next time Oh, 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 oh,